combat talk with the king. We got shields versus hammer. It's kind of poetic, right? A shield versus a hammer. And to be honest with you, that's exactly how they fight. One fights like an impregnable shield, while the other fights like a striking hammer. So we come to these questions when we're fighting and we try to see exactly what can get us to the outcome that we want to get to. First, let me address Lomachenko fighting yesterday. Another in the line of, uh, how can I say, Corolla was, um, he wasn't a gimme, but he's not what's going to push Lomachenko. And this is what happens with greatness. Greatness makes uh, good look mediocre. So this is the problem that we're having here. We're having the problem that Lomachenko is making greatness look so easy. And I know a lot of you guys are having trouble uh, thinking that he's not being pushed to the limit, that he's uh, fighting bums. No, he's actually not. This guy is actually fighting the best of the best, so he's calling out the best of the best. He wants to fight Mikey. That's great. And I think Mikey Garcia should have fought him. But see, what Mikey Garcia did was he went up and chased that Earl Spence dollar, knowing that Lomo will always be on the table. Then come back down and fight Lomo. So he can lose to Earl Spence. Doesn't matter. If he wins, ridiculous. But the loss to Lomo is the one that's going to end his career. Um, I think Lomo's too fast, too furious, too crazy. <laughs> I think he's too intelligent. I think he's too elusive. I think he strikes with the same amount of power from the first round to the 12th round. And that's what discourages people. They wait for his uh, his power to, it, it, to ebb. But it doesn't. So, uh, we got fights on deck. But right now, we're going to talk about Shields versus Hammer. I really wasn't going to cover this fight. Shout out to Black Magic. That's right, Cuzzo. I see you. Um, this video is for him. Uh, I didn't think that this fight was worthy of my time. Uh, basically because I don't feel that Shields is at that peak yet. Um, you know, we had uh, Christy Martin, we had Layla Lee, and we had Ann Wolf. Those are the female greats. Those are, if you don't know female greats, then go look up those names. Go look at their fights. The problem with that is um, it's too few and too far between. So, I wasn't intrigued by this fight as much until I started digging deep. Remember, I'm only going to bring you what I care about, all right? So, this, selfish, this channel is completely 100% selfish. Um, if you don't like it, so what? But tune in for my insight to give you the insight for when you're watching a fight, you know what to talk about, you know what points to look for. So, going into this fight... I'm like, and I'm like, you know, Clarissa, does she, I thought she was just going to overwhelm this girl, woman. And um, to be particularly honest, uh, I have uh, theories on uh, women boxing. I actually think women boxing, they should use lighter gloves. Um, they shouldn't use the same size men gloves. Uh, I feel like after a period of time, uh, they, they, their punches turn into slaps. The fights aren't as crisp and clean. And if you want to get to that crisp and clean nature of fighting, besides the training, besides training, and it, it, it may sound sexist, like a man uh, to achieve styles like a man, but th that's what these women want. They want to be considered. They want to make the same amount of money. They want to be in the realm of, of the men. And, and as mentioned as greats and stuff like that. So that's my opinion of it. I think you lower the weight of the gloves, you get a better and more action packed fights and you start getting those knockouts and those stuff like that uh, to change the way it is. You can't look at the sport the same. All right, so back to the fight. Um, Hammer, she, she has a great one too. She has a great left hook um, and she knows how to box. I saw weighing how fighters are by how they do when they get hit. That's how you know what you got when you got a fighter. When they get hit, do they get rattled? Do they hold on? 
Do they look bewildered? Or do they stand there, fight, trade back, and try to get back into position? Remember, this is competition here. At all times, this is a fight. This is exactly what you're trying to see from your fighter. Does he have that dog? Does he have that grit? Does he have that bite down? Can he get inside? Can he can he give you, he or she give you that bang for that buck, that dollar? Right? So we all know Shields have this in spades. Colorissa is an absolute animal. And that's only because she trains with men. That's only because uh, she's chasing greatness. That's only because she wants to stamp her name in that book. And when it's all said and done, she wants to be and she wants to go down as the greatest of all time. Now, Layla Ali has paved a long way for women boxing. And that's going to be the overshadowing cloud that's in Clarissa's way. What we don't want for this fight to be is a short burst. Now, being that these women go to distance, it's going to be a 12-round fight. What type of 12-round fight will we see is up to the combatants. I truly believe that uh, Clarissa, shout out to Andre Ward, which nailed it. Um, through her grit, her determination, through her fight, through her, her never say die attitude, that's gonna push her. That's gonna push this fight. She's gonna throw these shots at Hammer. That's going to push her through. See, Hammer wants to jab. Hammer wants to right hand. Hammer wants to counter. Hammer needs space to operate. And I think Shields establishes her jab by cutting the distance. Hammer is not as tall as you think she is. They stood next to each other. And I saw Shields bam their shoulder to shoulder almost. Now, that, that changes when you get into boxing stance. You know, you dip down, you lose an inch. The same thing happens for Hammer. Unless she fights tall. And if you're fighting tall, that means you got your head up there. And if you got your head up there, guess who's going to knock your head off? Because her right hand, Shield's right hand, is her best punch. Why I feel Hammer's right, uh, her jab is her best punch. So we're going to be in for one of those tactical give and take bouts. They may get sloppy at times. Because that's due to the weight of the gloves. They both weighed in at the middle weight, the the middle weight uh, weight limit. Um, I wasn't anticipating this fight. I wasn't even going to talk about this fight. But after digging deep and watching it, I think we're going to be in for one hell of a fight. It'll be a lot more than that Lomachenko uh, four round blast of Corolla. Like, we didn't think that was going to happen. So, hopefully we can get a chance to get what we want out of this. A woman great battle. These women deserve it. I hope these women bring the best out of each other. I hope we get a split decision. I hope they got to do it again. Boom. You heard me. I hope we get a split decision that there's such controversy that they got to do it again so they can get paid some more. I hope it's that damn good. But regardless of what, I'm going to go with uh, Shields pushing the fight. I think Shields is going to push this fight. I think Hammer's going to be on her back foot the whole night, jabbing, throwing right hands when she can, and possibly sneaking in a left hook here and there. She has the posture of a fighter. That she has the grit and determination. We know Clarissa has all of those of the above. The posture, the determination, and the skill. Can you check all those boxes for Hammer? Combat Talk with the King. Catch you guys tomorrow on ILP. 1 p.m. Where we go over the results of the fight. See us over there. 
Like, follow, and subscribe where you can get all that combat talk.